Hey everyone, and welcome back to this channel. Today, we're taking a trip back in time to 1944, to a little place called Bretton Woods, New Hampshire. Why? Because that's where something super important happened, the Bretton Woods Agreement. What was the big deal? Imagine a world after a devastating war, like World War II. Economies were in shambles, currencies were all over the place, and international trade was basically a mess. It was like everyone was speaking a different language when it came to money. Then came the Bretton Woods Agreement. This was like a big peace treaty for the world of finance. It aimed to create a stable and predictable system for international trade and currency exchange. Here's the gist. The US dollar became the king of the hill. All other currencies were pegged to the dollar, which meant their value was based on the dollar's value. This made things a lot more predictable for businesses and countries. Two important institutions were born. The International Monetary Fund IMF, and the World Bank. The IMF was like a financial firefighter, ready to lend money to countries in trouble. The World Bank was like a builder, helping developing countries grow their economies. So, what was the impact? The Bretton Woods system lasted for about 30 years, and it was a pretty good run. Trade boomed, economies grew, and the world became a more prosperous place. But, like all good things, it had to come to an end. In the early 1970s, the system started to crack. The US printed too many dollars, and countries got tired of being tied to the dollar's apron strings. So, in 1971, the US President, Richard Nixon collapsed the fixed exchange rate system, and the world of finance entered a new era. Why should you care? Even though the Bretton Woods system is long gone, its legacy lives on. It laid the foundation for the globalized world we live in today, where trade and investment flow freely across borders. It also showed us the importance of international cooperation in building a stable and prosperous world. So, next time you're using your credit card to buy something from another country, remember the Bretton Woods Agreement. It's the little agreement that helped make the big world of international trade possible. That's all for today, folks. I hope you enjoyed this little history lesson. If you did, don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos like this. And if you have any questions about the Bretton Woods Agreement, leave a comment below.